Hey, love. What's going on, you guys? Um, Spiritually gifted here. Uh, let's see. I apologize for everything that's been going on. Um, But I end up deciding, forget, I, I, no, let me rephrase that. I forgot that I can use my laptop. Sometimes I forget I had another, a new laptop, to be honest. Um, I keep thinking about my old one. <laughs> And I didn't like how it functions. So um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Um, I do owe you guys um, a bonus read. Uh, and that is what we're going to take care of today, Spirit and I. And I also wanted to continue where I left off. And I also want to give you guys um, some messages in regards to what to expect. Um, for the upcoming uh, year, okay, of 2021. So let's dive right in, you guys. Um, no more long intro. <laughs> if you guys uh, need a reading, um, please uh, email me at spirituallygifted777 at gmail.com. Uh, spirituallygifted777 at gmail.com, okay? Let's get it on and pop there. Okay, so some of you guys got justice in, um, in regards to whether that's a lover that I'm picking up or something that some unjust or <clears throat> some things that you've probably been going through. You could be having some type of court um, hearing coming up. Um, it also can be in regards to a lover who was in and out of your life that was in the Knight of Wands. Um, sorry, you guys. Knight of Wands uh, energy here. Okay, what else going on for the collective spirit? What else going on with the collective spirit? Thank you so much for the messages. Whoa, okay. I don't know why I keep picking up somebody getting kicked out, you guys. I, I keep picking that up, and it's so weird. Um, Somebody's car could have broke down, and because we do have the chariot in reverse, Okay. Could have issues with your car. May need to get a new car. Um, also, it could be that you guys were waiting on someone to move forward towards you so that you can feel more balanced and at ease. Um, that's not going to happen for many of you, but it's in regards to stability. Um, some of you could be um, wanted to save, but you had to pay to repair a car. Okay. And it's making you unbalanced in regards to your finances. But as you can see, there's a snake in this picture. Well, it looks like a snake to me. And someone's trying to really fuck you over um, in regards to your vehicle. Purposely, I may add. Uh, not to mention many of you have kids and this person is not keep, keeping that in consideration. Um, to where they fucking up your finances because you do have the four of pentacles here. And with me and my guides, I don't have to have them in reverse. It's just that when they do come out in reverse and I'm guided to leave it there, I leave it there, okay? Because they'll still give me the messages. Okay, so whatever savings you had, you had to actually dish out to repair this car or to um, take care of some other things, whether it's house, um, things, repairs in your home, your place of residence. It could also be to fix up, fix up, ooh, wow, uh, fix up or repair um, a place of employment or purchase some things that you need for your kids. Like, um, I don't know if they still wear uniforms and have to have uniforms on um, while they're doing the um, virtual schooling, e-learning, I'm sorry. I'm picking that up for some of you. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. I hope you guys are doing very well, keeping your energy on high vibration. Trust me, I understand it is extremely uh, challenging during this type of time. Um, yeah. Okay, so any other messages for the collective, please? Any other messages for the collective for the bonus, please? Any other messages for the Oh, you guys got some jumpers. Okay. Let me make sure I don't have this. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, I did pick it up the wrong way, so they're not in reverse. They're uh, right side up, okay, just to let you guys know. And remember I said that I felt like somebody got kicked out? And it's the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, and um, that's clarification that somebody got kicked out or something with their finances uh, took place. 
imbalance of that stability. Of course, that could be your place of residence. Okay. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the Ace of Swords messenger. Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be having a, uh, a phone call coming um, to voice some type of clarity in regards to your car situation to let you know what's going on with your car. Um, you are getting some type of service done to your car because we do have the Six of Pentacles, but I also feel like somebody um, could be coming in to help you with this situation as well. <clears throat> I do feel like you're um, overly stressed about the situation. Let's see, because we have uh, seven of wands, page of wands. We have the knight of swords, two of pentacles, nine of wands. We do have the king of pentacles. So this is somebody coming in that's going to actually help you. <laughs> this could be somebody also at the dealership that's going to help you um, with this. Because we have the eight of wands, uh, uh, eight of wands, the messenger. The two of pentacles. So, yeah, you're going to receive a call. If you have issues with your vehicle, you are going to be receiving a call to let you know that um, something is not right with your car. <clears throat> Excuse me. It can be your trans. Um, something major happening to where a uh, just to have to come and look at the car and actually see that it's not worth them putting, um, allowing you to have an extended warranty to, to do any type of repairs when they can just actually pay you out for the car. And you can put that down payment towards a new vehicle. Um, I also feel that you are going to be getting clarity um, in regards to your finances. I keep picking up like the page of pinnacles, page of swords um, to where you guys. Oh, here it is. See, that's a, amazing. I keep I'll be putting them down and sometimes I don't even really scan over those. I look at the ones over to the side. So we have the page of pinnacles. So I feel like you guys are receiving information in regards to a job, starting a business, um, starting, I always, no, this is the second time I picked up some type of clothing line. Because the last time I picked up somebody starting a lingerie line, okay, and it's going to be some type of organic uh, lingerie line. I feel like you're going to receive an email, um, a text um, for you to... Be aware that they're going to contact you at a certain, certain time or I did say email or wants to set up a Zoom to go over the logistics of it and what's expected and things of that nature. Um, I do also feel that you guys are going to um, have a new love coming in, a new beginning with a love interest or you're deciding to um, make a decision that you want to move forward with a new love. I feel like it's, you guys are really extremely sexually attracted to each other. Like, you guys, the vibes is there. Uh, we do have the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Okay. And I feel like somebody from your past is going to try, because I have the Six of Pentacles here, the Messenger, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. And the way I'm looking at it, the way Spear is showing me is that you're going to get clarity from a person that's going to message you. Um, this is a past love, somebody that you could have dealt with um, some time ago and you guys haven't even spoken twice some time, but they feel like your energy is, you, you're becoming very distant with them, okay? And they're picking up on that. And then the guys could have told them also, they were guided that you met a new love or you literally finna get ready to meet a new love and this is going to be your soulmate or you're going to have to have some type of uh, soul connection with them, okay? And you might feel like you're going to have to choose between this new love. I apologize for that, you guys. I'm waiting on a call. You have to um, choose between a new love and your twin or a uh, new love and a soulmate, okay, is what I'm getting here. I do feel like you could be going through a, a great deal of anxiety right now. Um, not necessarily depression, just anxiety and worried if you're going to make the wrong choice. Um, let's see. I'm also picking up that this could be an officer, you guys. We do have the Knight of Swords, which could be somebody in law enforcement or you in law enforcement. Let me try to turn the volume down because I think that's so rude when the phones do that. Sorry about that, loves. <laughs> I'll just put it to the side. Well, I don't want y'all to see the numbers that come up. 
Uh, let's see. Maybe I could do it here. That way I can see it if the person calls. Okay, so let's see. What else am I picking up? I do feel you guys that somebody at the dealership is going to help you out, whether that's a manager, supervisor, or whomever is assisting you within the service department. Okay. They're going to help you make certain that you get a new car. Either you have kids and, or you just um, out of uh, work and they know this and they know that you're trying to get by and they're actually going to help you. Um, they're going to help you to where you won't have issues, continue to have to have issues with this particular vehicle that you have. Okay. So what I'm picking up here. Yeah, and they know that you have to keep saving to try to put funds into this car. And they don't want to see you have to do that. Whoever this person is, they're very kind and considerate. I feel like they could possibly have kids or if you're a woman, sisters, that, and they're the type that they don't want to see you go through this type of uh, situation. Um, and they will want someone to treat their sibling like that. Okay, so does anyone else just want to collect? Oh, you guys have some jumpers, okay? Okay, so you got the Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups. So what I'm getting from the Ace of Wands is you are um, dealing with an individual or have dealt with someone from your past um, who could have possibly put you in a third party situation. But I'm also feeling that it's beyond the third party. This person had multiple options. Um, you could have found something via text because we do have um, the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands, okay? You see how this person... Like they just had sex, they chilling, they could have been watching movies, you know, uh, binge and Netflix or something like that. And yeah, they probably got their rocks off, the sex was good, whatever, the bomb.com could be same sex as well. Um, but you know that this person's interest is like after y'all have sex, is you wondering if that's all they're there for? Is it just the sex? Is it just a sexual attraction or are they there? Um, for you guys to progress possibly to the next stage. Um, but I am thinking, okay, let's do this. Yeah, see? I don't. <laughs> oh my God. So look, because I was going to say they do have options. And lo and behold, the Seven of Cups came out. They have plenty of options. But I feel like someone is, you're about to kick this person out, whether this is your place of residence, your name is on the lease, theirs is not. And you could have put this person out. Now, this could already happen and you're so pissed off, but you're going to be fine because you are going to meet someone new because you have the Ace of Cups here. So you can have a new beginnings with a love interest. OK, um, you could also be just one to um, have self-love and, and just, you know, tend to yourself and love yourself. Uh, spend some time with self. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. You also, what I'm thinking of, some of you guys um, is going to be starting a new project. You're saving up to start a new project. Could be with a uh, love interest, but you guys have the same interest in regards to a business uh, project. This person could be very well financially stable already, could have their own business, actually multiple streams of income, and um, they're going to be putting up the most um, in regards to the finances. And they don't. it's not that they feel like, oh, well, you don't have your part. I'm going to be the sole owner. You're just going to be like a co-applicant uh, or something of that nature in regards to the logistics and stuff, okay? That's not how they're feeling. They're feeling like you guys are going in there 50 50 50 50 regardless to they're the one that's putting down the most of the money okay uh, let's see okay so we got the ace of pentacles you guys yeah okay yeah you guys are about to embark on something major okay it is something major big because we got the king of pentacles ace of pentacles and i wouldn't be surprised if we got the queen of pentacles um you guys are embarking on something like huge and you guys got, it's like a new beginning um, in regards to your foundation, um, uh, family legacy, you know. I just feel like everything is going to be well. And I also feel you guys are deciding to walk away from things that no longer serve you, like negative 90 individuals. Oh my God, spirit, thank you. <laughs> Divine.
didn't I tell y'all I wouldn't be surprised if the oh. <laughs> Spirit, I love you so much. Oh my God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, God. You guys, what is this? The Queen of Pentacles. Didn't I say I wouldn't be surprised if the Queen of Pentacles came out? Whoever this person is, love, that you guys met or you know from the past life or what. Ever, you guys are about to make some money. Y'all about to secure the damn thing. Okay, look at this King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my god, you're stressing, wondering why I can't save. I keep having issues with this. I'm having issues with this. I need these bills paid. But who this person is, this can be, um, um, oh my god. I just had a brain fart, you guys. Like, seriously. Like, seriously, a brain fart. This can be an earth sign. You can be an earth sign. Or you guys can have earth in your chart. Or um, earth, you know, in, uh, how should I say this? Having this earth energy of wanting stability. You know, making sure uh, you dying your eyes and crossing your T's. Or is it crossing your T's and dying your eyes? <laughs> I haven't said that in so long, you guys. Um, but, yeah, this is about to be beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. Whatever this project is, you guys, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And it's gonna it's gonna really take off, okay? Whoa, y'all got some jumpers today. I guess spirit say, look, we had them wait long enough. Let's get them some, some you know, some business, okay? Let's give them some business. So I asked them what, um, give me some more information in regards to the five of pentacles in regards to this person being kicked out or you deciding to allow this person just to go to separate ways. Um, we do have the uh, ten, of, 10 of wands and the three of swords. So yeah, this is in regards to heartbreak. Um, I do feel like you feel like a great deal of despair. You're in your head a lot. Um in regards to how much you love this person so much and then they you know they pretty much backstab you and um had more people in their energy than you anticipated and i am picking up that this person could have been having sex with another person besides you yes but not all of them i know that doesn't make a difference they still had sex but i just wanted to let you guys know okay so it is going to be in regards to a third party situation. Um, you find out that this person all along was already having sex with somebody else, entertaining other people, flirting with other people. Also, they could have been on Snapchat. I'm hearing Snapchat um, showing body parts, shall I say. Um, also feeling that somebody was, excuse me, I'm sorry for saying this, but um, jacking off. Um, showing a person that they was jacking off or uh, another person who was sending it to them when they was doing it, they were showing their body parts and they was jacking off to the person. Okay. You decided to move forward and um, you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or like I said, have earth in your chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, you're deciding to push forward, press forward and go towards um, what makes you feel more empowered and pressing forward towards what it is that you truly want and you want that recognition and you know you deserve it because we have the six of wands here too three of wands you knowing that the divine is about to bless you and you you had an inkling that you know what all i need to do is just walk away from this toxic relationship because it's not serving me any longer okay hey, what's going on with this piece of cup okay oh celebration baby here on the six of wands, the three of cups. <laughs> and this is not third party that I'm picking up right now. You getting recognition from this new love that's coming through. Hey, yeah. Ooh, okay. You all up in the damn thing. Like, y'all could be texting a lot, um, FaceTiming each other a lot. Ooh, it's a connection. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of... Um, wands here you guys and water and where this earth sign yeah anything else here in regards to the face of situation anything else in regards to the face of situation stop being in y'all head y'all like really whoever you is you are um uh, um i was gonna say a gemini hey that gonna resonate with somebody <laughs> Whoever you are, you are a uh, earth sign. 
And what I do is spirit, it'll drop the message on a particular one for me to tell you. Uh, you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy. <clears throat> you um, are feeling like that you're not going to find the right person. Well, sweetie, you are going to find the right person, okay? You are. You just got to uh, let your walls down, okay? Open your heart. Open your heart and know that you deserve unconditional love because you do. We all do. Even the one that hurts you, they could be going through some things that somebody broke their heart some time ago. And they're in a fit like a great despair and just feeling like everybody's going to hurt them. And that's not the case, you know, and that everybody only used them for their finances or recognition or um, a stability in regards to living, shacking up with them, you know, or what they can just get out of them. And you deserve that. You deserve somebody who's going to treat you with the utmost respect. OK, who's not going to gaslight you, who's not going to um, sit there and um, say Things that's belittling you, like, oh, you need to lose weight, or or you don't not you're not keeping the house clean enough. When like, okay, it is two of y'all there, you know. Um, what's wrong with your partner taking some in? I don't care if that person thinks the woman's supposed to do this. If I'm taking if you're not taking care of all the motherfucking bills, there ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be doing everything. It's just not gonna happen, okay? If we're both taking care of bills, then yeah, both of us should do things around the house. Now, is anything wrong with those who want to do that? No, it's not. But sometimes the feminine one would like, I don't like to say feminine and masculine, but the one who usually do all the chores, like the cleaning, the cooking and stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, we be wanting to be treated that way too. We be wanting our partners to be like, babe, you know what? Why don't you take a break? I'll cook us something or order something, <laughs> you know, and fix the plate up nice and pretty, do some candles and all that stuff. And allow you to relax because you always doing the cooking, the cleaning, keeping the house clean. Because it can be a process and people don't understand that that takes a toll on your body too. You deserve to have a day or two to relax. It's not always about your lover, what they want. What is it that you want, love? What makes you happy? Do you feel you need to walk away from this person because they think you're supposed to do everything and help them pay the bills too, which is nothing wrong with that. But it's a difference between having your lover take some of the load too of the cleaning, of taking out the trash, things of that nature. Or baby, can you rinse the dishes? Why? I want to start this load and then I'll come back and start it. Or start the uh, the dish water, something like that. Because they're helping out. You know, they're relieving some of that. I wouldn't say burden, but relieving some of the chores to make it less of a toll on yourself. You know, people don't understand that. Um, spirit, any more um, in regards to this Ace of Cups, please? Anything more about the Ace of Cups, please? Any more messages about the Ace of Cups, Spirit? Thank you so much. Any other messages about the Ace of Cups? Thank you. I love you, Spirit. I love you. 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 Okay, let's see. So it um, did fall away on the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you have the Nine of Cups here. Somebody's really thinking about you guys heavily, about what they've done to you to break your heart. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Like, you're thinking about them. They're thinking about you. You could be getting something intuitively about them in regards to how they're feeling or picking up their energy, wondering if it's yours and it's not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Somebody could have found out they're pregnant and had an abortion because <clears throat> I'm going to have to go back and look, but I, I do feel this was in reverse. Okay. Somebody or they, they're pregnant and it's an unwanted pregnancy. <clears throat> Um, I do feel like, you know, you know how they say death to the old and with the new. So I do feel like a lot of you are having strength. You could be a Leo. Um, you made your decision of what you want to do and you chose to walk away from somebody. <clears throat> you see how this lady looking like, okay, I made my decision. I'm good. I chose to move towards somebody who's going to make me feel, um, more than enough to them who's going to love me unconditionally who's going to respect me and not gaslight me you know who's gonna not bother be bothered about 
if I'm tired from work and I just want to sleep in and not do some dishes or not throw that load in or throw the load in and didn't finish with the folding. Well, I'm a little finicky about the folding, you know, but <laughs> yeah. And then your lover decides to take up that slack. Okay, well, my baby's sleeping. She rests and she's tired or he's resting. And he's tired. Let me go ahead and fold these clothes, even though I don't like to fold or um, let me make them some to eat, make us some dinner and surprise him or her when they wake up, you know? So, yeah, I'm picking that up. But, I mean, that's a beautiful thing to have somebody think about you like that and know, like, you know what? They've been doing so much. They do keep the house clean. You know, I know they be tired. They work a lot because they're trying to put in their <clears throat> their part of our bills and stuff. So I won't have to take the load all by myself, which you do have some lovers that don't mind taking up more slack because they make more. <clears throat> but I used to hate that I didn't have. Uh, a certain amount of money and I would want to um, make sure that I was keeping my part up too because I didn't want my partner at that time, my twin, to do everything and pay for most of everything because she worked hard too. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Here go to Herman at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so give us some information in regards to the four pentacles, please. I do. Oh. Ooh, somebody's saving up for a wedding. Oh my gosh. And I think you guys are going to put it on... Um, the internet, rather than uh, some of these social media platforms, because we have the four of pentacles. And you're saving up to um, what I picked up from the four of pentacles, the world and the ten of cups. <clears throat> you guys are actually trying to uh, figure out how you want your wedding, the wedding planner. Um, you could be um, also completing the cycle and then you're uh, figuring out also like food, how many people are going to attend, things of that nature, um, how people, how you want your um, guests to be seated and where the uh, wedding is going to take place. And you guys are going to record it. I feel like it's going to be, you're going to get a lot of hits on there. <laughs> you're going to have some people that was jealous too, of course, you know, come on now. <laughs> Okay, any more messages for the collective spirit? Any more messages for the collective? Okay, jump was baby. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, okay. Somebody rushing in. They could be rushing in to help you with this wedding. But I'm picking up that this is an ex lover, you guys. This is crazy. A Capricorn Taurus of Virgo. Placement in their chart. Yeah. Wow. They had me look down. This is somebody that kept secrets from you, but you know about it now. Mm. And you chose to walk away from them and walk towards someone else that you felt that would treat you, treat you with the most utmost respect. Ooh. Wow. It was your twin. Whoa. This could have been a Gemini. You guys could have fought a lot and you just said enough was enough and you walked away. Wow, we got the lovers and the five of swords. So this could have been a Gemini. Your twin flame could have been a Gemini or had Gemini in their placement somewhere or had the Gemini energy. They can be flip-flopping. Could have been an, uh, the type that would go back and forth, come to you, wine and dine you, sex you up, like fucking you good. I mean, like dicking you down or tasting your nookie and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as they felt like another party was pulling away from them, they'll pick an argument with you and go and move on towards another person. It was like they was trying to keep both of you or all of you because this person could have had multiple parties. They was doing this too. Wow. And you was like, uh-uh, enough is enough, boo. I know my work. It's time to keep it pushing because that's what I did. Mm -mm, I love you, but I love myself more. <laughs> Six of Cups. Somebody from your past life. Wow. They just had this fallout. I don't know if you guys seen it. So your twin is somebody from your past life, of course. Majority, I, I feel it is always is. But they're coming. This is the six of clubs. They're coming with an apology. I feel like some of them could, some of them could be trying to stop you guys marrying this party. But I don't feel you having it. You're going you're gonna to be like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because a lot of you don't want to take that chance. A little bit more in regards to the six of cups here in this wedding. Give me a little bit more in regards to the six of cups in this wedding, please. Thank you. Nope. You're not going to take them back. <clears throat> oh, damn. Look, 
I kept this in here, okay? Because you're deciding, like, yeah, I want it. I want it like a whole life with you. I want it the sun, the moves, the stars. I want us to be balanced and heal and have serenity and peace in our life. But you fucked over me. You fucked over me, broke my heart, and it took me some time to heal. And for some of you, you decided to wait for them. But then you were like, no, the divine was trying to tell you, you do not have to wait on this person just because this person is your twin. It is your choice. You have free will. I don't care if the twin decides to like, oh my God, I broke her heart or broke his heart. Even if they decide to come back to you, you don't have to take them back, love. Uh, no, you deserve happiness, okay? You deserve happiness. You deserve unconditional love. And it's okay to walk away from them. You can love them from afar. Wish them nothing but the best. And wish them uh, and pray that they heal themselves and find somebody else for them. Okay? Because we got the page of cups in reverse. Some of you don't even want to talk to them. You don't want to hear them out. You already forgive them in your heart, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, because you knew that you didn't want to block your blessings for a new love to come in, something that's more balanced, okay? Wow. A lot of you, you just don't want to hear it. Oh, my God. Because you know that this person could be spinning game and just wanted to keep you from being um, balanced with someone else and someone else snatching you up. And them not having no control over the situation. Because for some of you, I do feel like your love is just, it's like control freaks. Um, they want to be in control of everything. And it's not fair to you. It's not. They're afraid of commitment. They're afraid to give their all to you. Because whomever hurt them from their past hurt them so bad, you guys, to where they feel like, Every time I fall on somebody, I'm, I'm scared. And the best thing for me to do is to pull back. The best thing they can do is pull back because they're so hurt. And they're scared to give their heart completely to someone. They get so nervous, you know, that you're going to break their heart or you're only there for them um, because of finances or how they make you feel or some type of stability in regards to having a place um, to live. Wow. Oh my gosh. You know, it, it's, wow. It's really sad um, that a lot of our twins are feeling like this because they're, they're blocking the best thing that ever happened to them, which is you, divine feminines. And if the roles are reversed, divine masculines. Okay. It's really sad that they choosing to entertain toxic individuals because they're so afraid of love. They're so afraid to just open their heart. And the minute you decide to walk away and move on towards a more balanced relationship, and it's like... <clears throat> Why now? Why are you deciding to come towards me now? Because I'm choosing to walk away from you. Why didn't you give me your heart then? I was there for you. I loved you unconditionally. And yes, you still have love for them. But it's not like it was before because they hurt you so much. And then it, it's years went past and they feel like you're supposed to sit there and wait for them. No. You don't have to do that. <clears throat> and I'm not judging anybody, no divine masculine or no divine feminine who chooses to do that. I'm not. I'm not here to judge, honey, because I did it. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not ashamed either. And nor should you be. Don't let nobody tell you different. Don't let nobody tell you, girl, you stupid. Man, you stupid. Why is you waiting for them? They're in a whole other relationship. Well, they got married to such and such. So what? So what? Do what makes you happy, okay? You're the one who has to wait if you choose to wait. You're the one who forgave your lover or your ex or whatever you want to call it. And it's okay. It's okay to release the hurt and the pain. It's okay to take time out for yourself to heal. It's okay. So please don't let anyone deter you if you want to wait for your love. <clears throat> That's your choice. 
Me personally, I stopped waiting. I stopped waiting. And I've tried to move on with people. And I just realized, you know what? I'm better off by myself until I heal the way I know I need to heal. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what else is. Oh, see, so you got a moon card. So everything that glitter is not gold. Just because you see them and they could be posting pictures and stuff, that don't mean they happy. You'd be surprised what they're really going through. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. How they truly feel. Let's see how your love interest truly feel about you guys. What's going on in their, in their mentality, shall I say. I'm trying to move these over, you guys. I'm gonna have to give me a huge dash, you guys, because uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Just hate that it like okay. So, okay, spirit, let's see how their divine counterparts are feeling about them and the whole connection. How is the divine kind of feeling about the whole connection? Whether it's my female, my masculine, who is viewing the messages. Ooh. Aww. They just feel like running, you guys. Wow. They feel like running. I'm picking up anxiety, too. And I think, Dan, I meant to show y'all that it was lurking at the bottom. Okay, so. For the viewers, whether it's the divine feminine or the divine masculine, how is their love interest feeling at this particular time in regards to connection? Oops, okay, y'all got some jumpers. <clears throat> we have cautious, not feeling safe. Oh, wow, that's not good. And bashful. Whoa. I'm being back to look at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Depressed. Whoa. And he go running again. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, that's not good. Not good at all. What else, Spare? How is it a divine kind of part? Feel <clears throat> They're daydreaming, you guys. They're feeling very distracted, doubtful, regret. Wow. They're regretting a lot of things that they've done to you. I have so much doubt. Like, what have I done? Daydreaming about how you guys um, were when you were together. Could be reminiscing on some pictures, too. Some pictures that they um, still possibly have in an old phone. That whomever they're with, if they're still even with anybody. Some of them not even with anybody. Oh, they feel threatened by your new love. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Betrayed. Wow. Antsy. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Sad. I'm picking up depression too. But um they're very curious. Curious about how happy you are, if you're happy, who you're happy with. <laughs> how cute. How they can approach you, if it's okay to approach you, just to talk to you. Um, trying to keep themselves busy. They're very passionate about you guys still. Because we have passion. And they want to be uh, come to you. And hoping that you will listen. You make them feel balanced, you guys. I'm picking up balance. You make them feel very balanced. They're very observant. They're lurking on your pages. Still. They got to betray it again. I think that was at the bottom of the deck, right? Where it came out. They're observing you, trying to gain knowledge on you. Um, looking at signs and synchronicities. When it comes to y'all connection. I'm also picking up there hoping that they'll see you by chance and that will be their door of opportunity to come towards you. 
Um, let's see what type of confessions they have. Spirit, what kind of confessions do the viewers' love interest have at this time? Any confessions in regards to the viewers' love interest at this time? That just really ticks me off when that happens, love. I just hate it to look all out of place. Um, okay, so now what messages or confessions? Dang. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Oh my God, loves. I told you guys. Um, okay, for those of you who have been following me, remember I kept picking up that our divine counterparts, some of our divine counterparts have been um, sexually abused as a young child. And I did pick up that it's somebody that was sexually abused, sorry about that, that was sexually abused um, by a brother. Brother or uncle just came up just now. Um, also is that they have trust issues. I just said this earlier in the reading, that they have trust issues from a previous lover. It could have been somebody that they was in some type of uh, commitment, commitment with, um, rather that's uh, oh, oh, where they blow with Jesus? A marriage. Um, Jesus, this is crazy. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, "I worry too much what people will think of me." We all know that that's, but they shouldn't. Who cares what people think? Because I didn't give two two cents about people what they used to say about my twin. I used to look at them motherfuckers like they was crazy. Like, let me tell you something. I love this woman. I'm in love with this woman. If you, my friend, you'll rock with me and you'll be happy for me. Yeah, they're going to have their two cents. Yeah, put your two cents in. Go right ahead. I'm going to listen and I'm going to keep pushing until my twin show me that I couldn't trust her any longer. Then I'm going to trust her to the utmost, okay? Because I'm not going to listen to naysayers who don't want you to be with them and you come to find out that they just want you to be with somebody else or with their ass. Uh, no, boo. No, I'm with who I want to be with. I'm with who I chose to be with. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Don't let nobody steal you away from your, your twin. If somebody come with you with some nonsense, if you ain't see it yourself or you didn't hear it yourself, see it in a text that you'll make dead themselves and respond it to somebody else. Don't believe that shit. Let them keep going, okay? It's okay. Just keep it pushing. Any other messages for the collective? Y'all got some jumpers today. Look at this. Y'all got some jumpers. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Did I not tell y'all they was depressed? I said I feel depression. I never want I never wanted you to think I was just like the others. Oh, love. So, that makes me so emotional. I'm such a wuss when it comes to love, okay? Oh, my gosh. It's just crazy. You know what's sad, though, you guys? Like, when I was with my twin, and I don't mind sharing certain things with you guys because I know a lot can resonate with you guys. I would want to give her my all. But when I start seeing certain things like exes calling and I and immediately I would pick up like she was trying to keep this person in her energy or contact, but she would still give them the space to where she was <clears throat> being respectful to me. But she thought I didn't know that they that she would talk to this person while she was at work. And knowing that this person was flirting with them, you know, and my thing is. I can care less who you talk to. I'm not going to stop nobody from talking to somebody else, whether it's your ex or not, because they can be the best of friends afterwards. But this is where I draw the line because you have to put your fucking boundaries down. Don't let nobody disrespect you. And I've learned that fucking with her. I allowed her to do so much to make her feel like, you know, I trust you. But then when you start fucking over me and you allowing bitches to come in and flirt with you and you know this motherfucker still got... um interest in you and want to still lay down with you and use you and want you to pay their bills and shit that's where we draw the line so i know it's time for me to fucking go keep it moving if you want to sit up and entertain these hoes keep it going i don't care i'm i know my worth and i had to learn to love myself i'm telling you i don't give a fuck how good she was dicking me down 
And yes, I said they can be down. Yes, we was just dropping that shit was good. Okay, I am not finna shit code nothing. Okay, I ain't ashamed. The sex was on point. But the sex drive wasn't there for me when it came to her. Because I felt like if she were entertaining them, I don't know if she going over their houses entertaining them, fucking them, licking them, coming back, kissing me and fucking me. No, boo. You got the wrong boo. So I weed away from having sex with her because I'm not going to put my energy into it when you land with somebody else. And then you'll bring your ass home with cat hair. I'm allergic to cats. You bring your ass to our place of residence with fucking cat hair and make me think I was stupid and thinking that it was your brother house you was coming from. No, boo. I'm not no, no crazy. I, I, hey. I'm not no fool. You ain't finna play me like that. You keep on pushing. So I knew it was time for me to find me a place and it was time for me to move. Yeah, but anywho, a lot of your divine counterparts are depressed and they didn't want you to think that they was just like um, everyone else, okay? We also have some of the confession would be, I know when you're not okay and it hurts me so much. So a lot of them could be picking up on your energy when you're feeling some type of way. Um, you have some type of nostalgic energy, depressed. Um, if you suffer from severe anxiety attacks, they was picking up on that too. When you're not sleeping, they was picking up on that too. Shit, when you masturbate, they, they can pick up on that too. The secret is I would risk my life for you. So they're telling you they would risk their life for you. And they, they are, I, I am picking up that they're very apologetic and sorry about everything that they've done to you. And, and another message is that I have pain I haven't healed from my past. I knew this is what it was. A lot of them do the things that they do. You know how they say hurt people hurt others? That's what I'm picking up from these love interests. Somebody hurt them so bad, you guys, and they felt like they cannot get unconditional love from anyone else. That is not true. Divine masses, divine phantom, that is not true. I don't care how bad somebody hurt you, stabbed you in your back, belittled you, gossip about you, bear false witness about you. No, boo. No. We all deserve unconditional love. Know that. But we have to learn how to have love for ourselves first. If we don't have self-love and self-worth and self-respect for ourselves, that's what we're going to allow them to do a lot of bullshit. It's not that I didn't have self-respect for myself or self-love for myself. It's just that I didn't show myself enough love and enough respect. And I didn't set them boundaries. Okay? Because if you don't set boundaries, the motherfuckers are going to do what you're going to allow them to do. And it was time for me to walk the fuck away. Yes, I love her. Yes, I'm I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I, I'm still, you know, in love with her to a degree. You know? And I feel like I'm always have that love for her. But I'm not finna tolerate no bullshit. I feel like if you want to sit up here and run the streets with these different women, pulling their energy, most of them bisexual, nothing wrong with bisexual. I'm just saying, most of the women she was fucking with was bisexual. You're not finna lay up with me. You're not even gonna step foot in my house. It's not gonna happen. You guys have to set boundaries, okay? You have to set boundaries. And to each his own. Teach his own. If that's what she like, that's what she float with, more power to her. Me, personally, I wouldn't want to um, deal with anybody who's bisexual. And my reason for saying that is because a lot of, some people that's bisexual don't keep it real with a person that they're dipping and dabbing between both sexes. That's my only thing. I don't have anything against bisexual. But when you dipping and dabbing with both, you picking up energies from both people. You don't know who that person is messing around with. Or that other person mess with and they coming back bringing you that energy from another person from another person that that person mess with. And all that negative energy and attachments are being attached to you. So when you bring your ass home to me, fuck me down, dick me down, whatever you want to call it. Those attachments are attaching to me too. You see what I'm saying? So no, I don't want to deal with that. I want someone who strictly deals with just me. That's it. Now, we, you know, we dab in the bed. Well, you know, I'm going to do a little threesome or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother ball game, okay? But no, I don't want to deal with somebody that has multiple sex partners. I just don't. I'm sorry. We do some on our own. That's a whole nother ball game. But back to our messages. Let's see what else they got going on. It says, I tried to sabotage this because I love you. I loved you. So some of them may not still be in love with you, but they still have love for you, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. 
color real. Um, some of them can be struggling with, uh, I was going to say sexual abuse. Yeah, they are because we had that. But substance, substance abuse. And we picked that up before as well in previous messages. And we all, I put up a front for people, but I'm a sensitive person inside. Well, we all know that. Broken glass. So they're very fragile at this um, time. That it is just very fragile, uh, which something they need to be careful of because, you know, when your energy is low like that, you know, people can tap into your stuff and just really fuck everything up. I really wish my childhood was different and I feel I wouldn't be the way I am. This is true. We all struggle with stuff, whether it's sexual abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse. Hmm. And some of them are narcissists and they, they belittle, try to belittle you and gaslight you to make you feel like you've done stuff wrong. And my, my, my ex used to do that. She surely shit did, but I, I, I kept feeling, I kept being so passive aggressive about it because I'm like, look, she's hurting this away of venting. But no, she shouldn't have been venting like that to me. We should have sat down and I should have talked to her. I'm like, look, I'm not the one for you to lash out at. I'm here to love you. You know, I love you for you. I'm in love with you for you. There's no need to feel that I'm going to hurt you like the other person did. I'm not that other person. And it used to piss me off because of the fact is she kept entertaining people that broke her heart. And sometimes you got to let motherfuckers go. And if they don't respect you and love you unconditionally for who you are and don't have to be in the company of other people to make them feel whole, keep it pushing. It's too many good men and women out here. Trust me. I know. Okay. I've been meeting women like there's no other, but <clears throat> most of these people are just too needy and they just want sex. No, boo. You ain't getting none of this poo nanny. I'm sorry. I'm saving this for the right person. Okay. <laughs> No, I keep my poutine with kissing myself. This is precious jewels, darling. No, 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 no. I learned the hard way. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting none of this lucky soon. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> so let's continue on with <laughs> the confessions. <laughs> I read because I was in denial of my own emotions. Yeah, we know, boo. Mm -hmm. We have been through this too. So it's not just you, boo, kitty, okay? I just lack self-worth and I didn't feel worthy of you. And that goes to show then a lot. Of, I'm telling you guys, then a lot of stagnant energy, depression could be having so many sleepless nights. I'm picking up a lot of energy for them in regards to this. And it is so sad. It truly is. But, you know, we got to understand that our love interest, um, your love interest has to understand that they have to go through this to heal they have to heal it's a process they have to go through to heal just like we had to go through to heal and some of us are still healing i don't think we're ever going to be totally healed you know we learned our lessons some of us <clears throat> but we're still healing i play victim so i don't look bad mm -hmm. yeah i use it intimacy to be vulnerable with my emotions with you <clears throat> but they use intimacy to be vulnerable to their other um, individuals that they're messing around with, like these karmics and stuff. OK, I feel like I'm getting karma for running from you. Yeah. Yes, you are. Boo -boo. And you truly are. OK, let's get some more messages, loves. Um, <clears throat> how about we see what their true intentions are towards you and the connection? Okay, Spirit, let's see what the uh, collective's love interest, true intentions are towards the connection or their new love interest, too. What are the um, collective's love interest, true intentions? Oh, sorry, you guys, something's in my eye. What are the collective's uh, love interest, true intentions? Okay, go in. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> The true intentions is that I'm going to continue to play mind games and I can't make you think that you have me completely. You know what? Some of these divine counterparts have not learned to stop playing these fucking mind games. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, seriously, grow up, you guys. You're going to miss out on the best thing that ever happened to you because you want to play these games and see if people still love you or in love with you or still will uh, allow you back in the energy. You won't know unless you try, but if you keep... Going down this road, playing these games, 
it's over and done with finito clipito you're gonna be kicked out like it's time to move the fuck on like seriously grow up grow the fuck up this is ridiculous and this is not the first time i picked this up we had this card before if you go back to the previous message you will see i mean like this is why i'm like no i'm walking the fuck away okay you better catch up hmm i don't think sorry is going to be enough i'm planning to surprise you with something better this is somebody that have learned their lessons and they want to move forward towards you they're learning to come towards you and apologize for the things that they said most of them may not confess everything that they've done i'm gonna keep it real with you but there are some that love you enough to respect you enough to give you the answers that you need to know that was been taking place behind closed doors okay those are the true motherfuckers that loves you like really respect you and y'all connection to be able to be man up or woman up and tell you babe i did this um please listen to me allow me to tell you what really took place what i was doing and if you decide you want to um get to know me again and we start afresh then that's cool and i'll respect you if you choose that you don't want to do so and that's fine that is it's fine i want you to i want to work things out with you and i know we are two very different people but whatever we can com complement each other i told you they want to come towards you guys they want to be able to sit down and talk to you guys rationally, calmly, without any yelling, any, oh, you did this, you did that. You guys are not going to accomplish anything if y'all do that. I'm telling you now. It's just a waste of energy. So if you want to move forward towards with your love interest, okay, starting all over, becoming friends first, if you weren't friends first, because some relationships move too fast. And it did it with me and my ex, too. It moved too fast. I was so afraid of losing her when she wanted to jump right into something. And, and I really want us to take our time getting to know each other. But that didn't happen. It moved too fast. It moved too fast. And that was my fault. I allowed it to happen. I should have put my foot down, my batteries up and say, no, let's take this slow. She moved too fast. That's a problem. I want to come in and support you in all your endeavors. I told you guys somebody was coming in. This is at the bottom of the deck. And I'm going to put on a show to make you jealous at the bottom of the deck too. But I want to come in and support you in all your endeavors. I told you guys this was um in the earlier part of the reading. Okay, Spirit, any other messages for the collective? Y'all got some jumpers today. Spirit is not playing, okay? Let's see what other confessions they have. Ooh, ooh. What their true intentions are. I'm sorry. I'm behaving strange because I'm hiding something from you and I don't want you to find out. Yeah, that's the amount. You know what? When I start reading this, the first thing I picked up is the amount of people, the multiple people that they was having behind closed doors. For some of them, they was having sex with a lot of people, y'all. I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? And I also feel like they was paying a lot of these men and women's uh, bills. So I'm going to keep it real 100 with y'all. Never going to sugarcoat anything. Now, they also, um, their true intentions, I need closure from you. We need some sort of conclusion. Please accept my invitation. So I told you, they're going to reach out to you guys and want to sit down and talk to you guys. Some of them are going to actually be honest and tell you what really was happening, what's, what really was going on, why they did what they did. And most of it's because of the physical abuse, um, some type of sexual abuse also, and emotional abuse in regards to a form of love interest, Okay. Just wait and see. I'm going to make it up to you if that's the last thing I do. Yeah, I do feel like someone really going to respect you guys so much and the connection that they're going to be honest and tell you every damn thing. It's going to be something you guys going to make you feel uncomfortable and you're going to be like it at all. Like, what? You did what? You did what? No, no. And I feel like it's going to be very emotional. People are going to be crying. One of you may get up and walk away. And I feel somebody extending their hand and stop that person like, babe, please just listen to me. Then they're going to catch themselves like, I think you are going to say, you don't deserve to call me babe. I'm not your fucking babe. And that person going to say your name and say, can you please sit down and allow me to be honest and upfront and tell you everything that I've been hiding from you. I've never stopped loving you. I just want to show you and tell you everything that I kept from you out of respect to you because you deserve to know the truth. I am getting emotional, y'all, and I'm trying myself, trying my best not to do so. Whoever this person is that's going to sit down and talk to you guys, they're going to do everything in their power to prevent them from crying because they feel like once they cry, they're not going to tell you everything. 
They're going to be so emotional, you guys. Like, they're going to be so ashamed and hurt that they hurt you so much. It's breaking their heart just to confess. I feel like somebody's hand is going to be shaking because my hand is about to shake. They're going to be stammering over their words because they're so nervous, loves. Please hear these people out, you guys. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. But keep in mind, it takes a lot for a person to own up to the things that they've done and how they hurt you. I feel like somebody having a headache as they're speaking. They're feeling like they can't breathe. Their heart is racing. And every time they try to speak, they get so emotional that it's hard for them to express how they feel. So, you guys, I do feel like there's going to be many of your love interests or your exes or your twins or whomever you have some type of interest in that you're guided here to get this message. They truly love you and they never stop loving you. They never stop loving you. They think about you a lot. They walked away from a lot of toxic people and toxic behavior. Whether that's sex, some are still struggling with drugs, you guys. Whether that's weed or cocaine. I feel like they're keeping themselves busy with work or just projects in general. Um, so that their mind won't just run rapid, but it's not helping. You're constantly on their mind, you guys. From when they wake up, throughout the day, until they want to sleep. Some cannot sleep or they're dreaming about you and the things that they've done to hurt you. This is where I'm extremely hard, you guys, because I'm trying to come out of this energy and it's just constantly coming through. It's weighing on them very hard. I feel like a lot of them um, are losing weight. Their weight is fluctuating. Um... I don't know why I'm picking up somebody starving themselves, you guys. Oh my God. Somebody literally is starving themselves. It's like they're torturing themselves for hurting you. Somebody's also um, not eating properly on purpose for uh, spiritual reasons too, like they're fasting. But the one that's, um, hold on, you guys, let me get a napkin here. Oh my gosh. Okay. What I'm picking up is the one that's starving themselves. They feel like they don't deserve anything good in their life. They feel like they can feel you like you're struggling so bad. And they want to reach out to help you, but they're afraid that you're not going to accept that help, no matter how much you're struggling. I just feel them constantly crying and crying, you guys. And their heart is like aching. And this, this, this is what I keep feeling. And it's so sad, you guys. It's so sad. Give me a moment. One moment, you guys. One moment. It's really sad, like, no matter how much you love or in love and just want to be with your twin or your soulmate, but you know you have to walk away from them to allow them to heal the proper way they need to heal. It's like... You have to pull yourself together and heal, heal yourself. Allow them to heal too. And just send them loving energy, like praying that you're covering them while they sleep. Sometimes you have issues sleeping, but it's not really you. It's your love interest. 
hurt. It's like you just don't want anybody to be hurt. They're in despair from hurting you so much. They did so much. Some things you guys don't know. I'm telling you, it's a lot of stuff you guys don't know that your love interest did to you, your twin did to you. And they're going to tell you. Some of them are going to be so free to divulge what they've done and fear that you literally are going to just shut them out completely. I feel like some of you already done that. Continue on with um wow their intentions with you loved ones okay their intentions here this was the beautiful one to shift the energy okay would you mind spending the rest of your life with me I'm convinced you're the one for me this is how they're feeling loves. This is how they're truly feeling, okay? I want to tell you guys, if you want to wait for your love interest, do what makes you feel right, okay? Please don't worry about how people are going to perceive you. It's not their fucking business what you choose to do. It's not. Do what you feel is best for you. This is why they call it free will. But if you're guided to walk away, it's okay to do that too. You have to do what's best for you. Not what's best for your, your, your twin, okay? It's what's best for you. Because you come first, not your twin. And your twin has to know that they come first also. Okay? <clears throat> also, let's... um. Their intentions are, I can give you what you want right now, but they want you to love yourself first. And that's beautiful. They want you to heal. They don't want you to be codependent on them coming in. They want you to be as though they're not coming in and you're starving for it with your projects or with schooling or um, your stability in regards to grounding yourself or having a co closer connection with um, the divine close connection with your loved ones you know I'm going to have my cake get eaten too and I know I'm being selfish so some of my choosing to do what they want to do some are going to try and come towards you and still like they say have their cake and eat it too they're going to still entertain in the karmics or low to toxic vibrational individuals so it's in your own discernment be careful so I'm going to say, I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to find out what you've been hiding from me. And I need to know before I completely trust this connection. Um, I guess I'm feeling also, too, that some of these divine counterparts feel that you have something being kept behind closed doors as well. And that you are not... <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys, that you have not divulged to them. I just pick up a lot of paranoid energy. Um, if that's the case with you, then I, and you want to reconcile with this person of interest, <clears throat> then I suggest you be honest as well. I know some people say, oh, you should keep that, take that to your grave. I don't believe in that. <clears throat> I believe if you want them to come towards you, then why can't you do the same thing and divulge whatever the heck is being done behind closed doors, okay? <clears throat> Uh, let's get some messages just on a minute. Uh, Moonology Oracle deck. Let's get some messages for the Moonology Oracle deck. Please, yeah. What messages do you have for the collective? <clears throat> what messages do you have for the collective? I see your hard work is paying off and nothing will come with this situation. Give us some messages, Spirit, for the collective in regards to your love interest. Give us some messages and also collect 
type of guide please. Okay, two. we have for some guidance from the numerology oracle deck is a new romantic cycle begins now this keep in mind this can be what your um your divine counterpart returning to you and you're deciding to work things out or it also can be a new love a total new now new love can be your ex returning but they're in a different energy they're not who they were when you last seen them luck is on your side so stay very optimistic you guys and this could be doing a new moon in Sagittarius <clears throat> what do you need to release the whiny moon what do you need to release ask yourself that loves what is it that you need to release whether it's this twin to move forward or is it toxic behaviors of your own now for your divine masculines <clears throat> ask yourself that is it this karmic or some type of toxic behavior whether it's drugs sexual addiction it could be anything okay conclusions are within reach this can happen during the full moon eclipse <clears throat> okay you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer so you guys can look up when these moons that i'm speaking of messages are going to take place and that is when this shift is going to take place for you okay show the world the real you the full moon in aquarius so something major and drastic is going to happen during these moon phases love okay so if i were you if you want to go back and freeze them uh screenshot them and you can look these up um that's messages for you guys to know what shifts is going to take place whether these signs um are for you like this one is the time to release negativity for one is scorpio you can have scorpio in your chart where you love and just can have scorpio in your chart in their chart and they're telling you it's time for you to remove them before this full moon in scorpio takes place let's see let's get some messages from um, some guidance on the archangel power tarot decks can resonate with someone and it's the world card archangel michael i'm very happy a very happy ending come come in full circle and spiritual growth and insight didn't i tell y'all oh my god didn't i tell y'all somebody's uh, spiritual business about the hype look archangel michael just confirmed that <laughs> thank you archangel michael for your presence any other messages archangels in regards to the life i have to be careful because this is a thick a thick day and they do glad out there. Archangels don't be playing. So whoever made this deck, I'm very, very happy they did because it's easy for them the best you can come through. Um, you don't have to do them so many times. And archangels are really speaking today. The seven of Gabriel. Uh, stand out for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. I told you guys, make sure you have self love for yourself and worry about your own well-being for now you can still continue to send love unconditional love and protective energy to your your twin but you have to be more focused on yourself not them okay and i had to learn that the hard way no matter every, no matter what she done to me my, my twin i still was so focused on her 
healing and hoping she's okay and that the karmic wasn't, you know, draining her energy and all that. I had the, you know, it was draining me doing that. So I had to focus more on myself, you know, and heal myself and prayer and meditation, you know, and having faith in God that he was going to persevere and bring me through everything. But stay to Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Act of kindness given or receiving with a grateful heart. Wow. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be hoping um, a lot of people. And then, of course, like I said earlier in the messages, that someone's going to be coming toward to help you. Okay, and that's, this is double confirmation from the archangels. And I think what I'm going to do at each after each read, I'm going to... Um, inquire with the archangels um as well as the fairy tarot deck as well um for guidance and the moology oracle deck um for guidance first because they're going to just pretty much confirm everything um that came out in the messages for you guys okay we have the page of michael as well archangel michael is out <laughs> the page of michael is truthful perceptive analytical and blunt an exciting new challenge. Uh -oh. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. So if you guys are starting a business, going into business with someone, um, doing some type of contract, whether that's a music deal or something like that, make sure you get another lawyer to go over the paperwork. If you're not, you know, too savvy with uh, contracts of that nature, with all that, uh, rubbish in regards to the fine print and everything. Don't sign that paperwork, y'all. Tell them you want to have a lawyer look over it. Be smart. I'm telling y'all, because Archangel Michael will tell you that if it wasn't meant for you to know this, because it may be something in the fine print that you don't understand. You go, Archangel Michael, again, I told y'all, he coming through strong. He is not playing. Release the past, and you will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. I'm being guided to show you guys that. Release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So if you got it to release your love interest and you feel that intuitively, spiritually, within your soul and your spirit, hey, do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. And that's your double confirmation if you were single. Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, and support. If this is not double confirmation, I don't know what to tell y'all. A change in job or a promotion. I told you guys, you're going to have help. It's the archangels. It's the Sending Master. It's our Father God helping you. Mother Gaia, the whole nine yards. They're helping you guys. Okay? You got to ask for their help too. You have to ask for their help. If you don't ask, they can't help you. The Queen of Michael, brilliant, resilient, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Ooh, uh-uh. I got to read this again. <laughs> Queen of Michael. Did I say uh, Archangel Michael is coming through? Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, self-reliance. I had to reiterate that, self-reliance. No codependency here, baby. Insightful and humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. In, in other words, learning from your experience, learning your lessons from past situations that you've been through, a time for your career rather than a relationship. So the archangels want y'all to focus more on your creativity, your projects, um, you building wealth for your family, your legacy, than to be worried about a relationship. Stay focused on that, and they're going to divinely guide you with the right person to come into your life. Wow. The sixth, the, uh, the lovers, Archangel Raphael coming through. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. So when you make these choices, you guys, make it truly from deep within. And the power of love to persevere. 
Oh my God, these are beautiful. I don't know why I haven't been using these as much. I've been mostly using them for myself, but I'm going to incorporate that into our readings, you guys, because these are strong, strong messages and that will resonate and uh, clarify a lot of stuff that we, you know, messages that came through. The Eight of Gabriel. Yeah, we had Gabriel also. He's coming through strongly. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. And uh, Archangel Ariel. She came in twice. Yep, Archangel Michael, one, two, three, four times. Yes, they coming in strong. Okay. The aid of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Downloads, baby, downloads. And you're going to receive help. I'm telling y'all, this is beautiful, love. So, oh, wait. <clears throat> I can't forget about... <laughs> I cannot forget about the, um, oh, sorry, loss. I promised that I was going to give, um, messages, um, from the fairy tarot. Oracle deck. Well, tarot deck. Shit, to me, these like oracle decks. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> they say tarot on the box, but to me, they're like oracle. Okay. Spirit. Fairy tarot. What are messages and guidance you have for collectively? And thank you so much for your presence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know if November the 6th resonate with someone because I was guided to tap that and it's 1106. Okay. Oh, they tell you to have strength in your wish film is the number 17, the star. That number 17 may resonate with somebody. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Oh, that is beautiful. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. You guys have faith. Whatever you wishing upon a star, I'm telling you, and asking God, our um, divine creator for, and your ancestors for, your higher self for, your spiritual team for. Oh, your wish is about to, like, the, they about to manifest, okay? They're going to come through. They want you to have strength and not be loving. That's the Leo coming through. You got Aquarius here as well. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Woo! Loves. I don't know what else to tell you, honey. Bye. Yes, we're going to incorporate these at the end of our readings, okay? The fourth autumn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save. Did I tell y'all that? You spend and save your money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So, you guys, please, you're being called. To, if you get a little here and there and you can help somebody you know as a need, whether that's diapers, formula, helping a family member out that's struggling, please do so. Please do so. And I'm hearing don't expect something in return. Ten of Springs. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So, it's like the Ten of uh, Springs like the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands. Maybe I should say the Ten of Wands. Okay. Like you doing something. No, ten of, it's like the Ten of Wands, y'all. I'm sorry. So if you guys didn't hear that, the Ten of Springs is ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighted down by too many responsibilities. So I feel it's the Ten of Wands. Prince of Winter. In, an intellectual, determined, focused, and impulsive. Set out an intellectual solution to your problems. I'm sorry. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problems. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes. Ooh, we, I'm telling you, y'all got some changes coming with you. Let me say, let's claim this. We got some major changes coming through, honey. Hi, we better be ready. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The four of summer. Being distracted and um, failing to see a, a magical opportunity Taking someone or something for granted, 
discontentment with life. You guys need to be careful, okay? The divine is showing y'all, I'm telling y'all, the angelic spirits team is showing y'all what's literally right there in your face. Like, and you don't see it. You don't see it. I do. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I do. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Love and light to you guys. Thank you guys for um, coming to my channel. I do appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate your likes, your comments, um, your sharing if you choose to do so. Um, if you do also feel that uh, some of the messages are, are meant for a loved one, a friend, shoot, share the, the message with them, okay? Please don't forget to give you guys, uh, your girl, the thumbs up. Um, uh it was something else I was going to tell you guys, but I forgot what it was. Just that fast. Oh, whatever. But anyway, if you guys need um, a personal reading for your personal situation, please hit your girl up at spiritualgift777 at gmail.com. Thank you for being here. Love and light to you guys. Take care.